Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. Today I wanted to sit down and do a really quick product review on something that I've been using lately. I haven't done a product review in quite some time, but I thought when I picked up this new product that I'm about to chat about here, I just had to share my thoughts. Of course, I've already mentioned what it is in the title. Today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on the Olaplex Hair Perfector in number 3. So of course the Olaplex range has been out for a while, and I know a lot of people have used it already, whether it was in salons or at home with these sorts of products. I haven't ever tried any of these bond building products before, and I figured I would be a good test subject on this just because clearly I have bleached hair. Now I will point out as well, I was a bit of a dummy and am not filming this clip at the start before using, so I'm trying to keep my hair back behind me concealed as I share my opinions, and then of course at the end I'll see if I can put up a before and after just to give you an idea on the changes, but I'm going to be talking a little bit about what I've experienced since I first started using this one. Even though I'm not sharing my thoughts before using, I guess I'll go back to my mindset that I had before I started using, and I guess using it made me wonder, could it save me from doing the big chop, cutting my hair short? I didn't know if really it would work and save the lengths of my hair, which really did bear the brunt of bleaching just over time. Now into the story comes the Olaplex. So a couple weeks back, I was just browsing Sephora online and noticed for the first time that they had Olaplex available to purchase. And I guess they've probably had it for a while. This is the first time I noticed since I don't really buy hair care products from them. So I decided I'd try it out since I have heard good things. So of course I picked one of these up. It did cost $50 for this size, $50 Australian. I'm not sure of the pricing overseas, but I feel like that's pretty expensive for the size here. It's just 100 mil. I guess comparatively, it's probably a lot cheaper than going to the salon and getting hair treatments. And I haven't even used all of it up here. I'd say I've used about two thirds. I'm not sure if you can see what's um, used up. I'll put a little arrow to the side in case you can't see where I'm at in the bottle. But I'd say I've used about two thirds and I've been washing my hair twice a week and probably for about a month now using this just before washing it. So I guess that's pretty good. Maybe if this lasts a month and a half or potentially two months, if I go to using it weekly, maybe it'll be good value for money, $50 for two months potentially and of course some people have different lengths hair so maybe you'll be using less or more depending on the length of your hair but anyway I thought I'd mention price since I figure that's a big part of this here obviously there's lots of different hair treatments some are more expensive than others this is definitely the most expensive hair treatment that I've ever used and I'll get onto results in a little bit to see whether it was worth it but I guess firstly I'll just go into a bit of my hair history so of course I've said and it's quite plainly obvious that I do have bleached hair I've just done some fresh roots as well so I'm looking very very light but I guess my hair I've been bleaching for 13 I think maybe even nearly 14 years now so that's a pretty long time I guess I have tried a few different colors over the years and I've even tried going back to my natural color but it didn't stick so I re-bleached and of course all the lengths of my hair again I won't be showing now I have you know fully bleached it's um me doing the roots at home every month I think I've said before I do that at home by myself and I try not to heat style it too much I guess so a lot of the damage is of course coming from the bleach I try not to damage it any further by heat styling maybe once a fortnight to once a month I will actually heat style it, but that's about it. I'd say definitely before the Olaplex, and some of you might have noticed this if you've seen my videos before, even though I try to make it look presentable for videos, it still has a mind of its own, and it's done some pretty funny things, like always having a bit of flyaways up here and at the sides. Every time when making a video and I would, you know, take a moment to catch my breath, sometimes if I'm talking quickly I'd do that, or take a sip of water, I would, you know, take a pause and push my hair back or if it's in front of my shoulders just try and straighten it up and make it look a little bit tidy again because over time it would just naturally puff out and go a little bit crazy but I think that's mainly the things I noticed before or how my hair was always and as well as that I've noticed a lot of shedding when I brush my hair and I guess even just when I get dressed in the morning if I do my hair I would have you know blonde hair all over my outfit and that was always interesting because I wear a lot of black to work. So I was best friends with a lint roller, you guys. I would always be picking off hair. And I think maybe it shows up a bit more because my hair is so light and because it's on the longer side. But that's basically how my hair's been for the longest time. Now, I know I mentioned already that I've been using the Olaplex for about a month. 
on the bottle it does recommend to use it twice a week for very damaged hair which I definitely class my hair as so I've just been following the instructions and I'll make sure I put up on screen now the results from using it the first time this was very surprising if you can see the very ends of my hair seem almost like they're straightened I thought that was quite weird that's really where I applied a lot of the Olaplex I didn't put it in the full length just the very bottom section where it was super damaged because I wasn't sure what the first uh, treatment would be like and that really surprised me I guess maybe that's showing its bond building at work and I say this as a big skeptic as well a few other small things that I've noticed and these are a little bit less easy to prove or sort of show the fact that I've had less flyaways I feel like right now this is freshly bleached as well and great that I've got the TV behind me you can see it's just a black background and I feel like I've not got any flyaways from what I can see anyway so that's been my experience a lot lately I've been very impressed by that I've also noticed I'm shedding a lot less and I can only really say that from my own experience noticing a lot less hair ending up in the brush when I brush my hair and a lot less you know random flyaways kind of falling out on my outfit and also on the floor now I'm finally just going to give you a proper look at my hair and I'm really kicking myself for not actually having a proper before clip kind of comparing it exactly but we're just gonna have to work with what we have um, here is my hair I am honestly quite surprised that it's standing up so well especially since I just did a fresh bleach on it maybe I should have done this beforehand because it would look very different um, this is definitely looking a little bit dry compared to how it has been recently and I say that just from texture not really touch and that's pretty normal after bleaching it's definitely not as dry as it normally would be um, from previous times that I've done it because I think this time that I did my roots was the most recent time since I started the Olaplex so that's something to take away but I just wanted to show this now while it was fresh in my mind and while I had the time I think just using the TV behind me here is great because it is you know black obviously in quite a stark contrast to the hair and I know if I'd done this a few weeks ago I would have a bit of a halo of hair behind me just a little bit of sorry it's the kookaburra singing hour um, my hair definitely would be frizzing out and it, you know it's doing a little bit but definitely not as much as it used to now I guess to sum up my thoughts on using the Olaplex in this time I am happy with of course the look of it clearly like I've said I'm happy that there's a lot less flyaways and frizz going on because that's been a big difference and then also the practical differences like shedding a lot less I'm not having a whole bunch of hair on my jacket you know after I brush my hair in the morning or you know on the floor as well and my hair is just a lot easier to manage so I think my Olaplex treatment has definitely saved my hair from the big chop I have plans to keep growing my hair I think I really want to see how long it can grow I guess I feel like it's pretty long for having bleached hair because this is all me I do or I did recently purchase some hair extensions just for certain hairstyles since maybe I do want to have dramatic lengths sometimes but I do feel like this is pretty long for bleached hair what do you think of course that's only impressive if the hair is in good condition it's a lot more impressive now after using the Olaplex rather than just feeling like I had long dead ends before but to be honest I feel like my hair is really long for being bleached so I think I will keep it this length and maybe I'll do a little trim just to tidy it up a bit but I won't be doing a short little chin length cut like I expected but now I think I might wrap up this very rambling review here so I just wanted to thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed it or found it helpful please give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already but like I said I will be leaving it here so I just wanted to thank you once again for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one Bye.